Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here, coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons & Dragons. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right. It is time for another installment of the Dr. Spell Prognosis. And today we are talking about the spell Cloud of Daggers. I'm giving this one an A-. I really like this spell a lot. It doesn't seem that great at first. But uh, once I point out a few things, I think that you will see the magical mystery of this particular spell. All right. It is a second level spell that is used by bards, sorcerers, warlocks, and wizards. So it is usable by all of the arcane spellcasters. Takes one action. It has a range of 60 feet. Great range. And it fills a five foot cube, which actually is pretty good. Um, it is verbal, somatic, and material components, which is just a sliver of glass, which is okay. It lasts for a minute, and it is, unfortunately, concentration. That, um, that is a downside to this. But you fill the air with a bunch of daggers in a cube, five feet on each side, centered on a point you choose within range. So the other downside to this is you can't move this around once you place it. You need to place it in a uh, in a precise spot. That will be advantageous to you. Now, uh, a creature takes 4d4 slashing damage when it enters the spell's area for the first time or starts its turn. Not ends its turn, starts its turn. And then you can upcast this. It does an extra 2d4 damage for each slot above second level. So, you drop it on a creature now the creature didn't enter when you drop it 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 but it is going to start its turn and then it has to try and get out the magic of this spell that makes this there's a couple of angles that make this spell excellent one is that you can use this for movement control of your enemies you can drop this in a narrow area, which is going to force them to either move through it to come and get you or to move around it somehow. You have to be very strategic where you drop it. The other thing that makes this spell way awesome, way, way, way awesome, is if you can drop that spell down and you can push the target into that square. So if you push the target into the square, it enters it. And then um and then it will also start its turn and it's not taken 44 damage it's taken 84 damage at that point because it takes 44 when it enters and it takes 44 when it starts its turn so and that damage gets worse if you upcast it so if you cast it as a third level it takes 64 damage when it enters and 64 damage at the start of its turn. And there are many, many, many ways in this game to push and or pull things into particular squares, thus triggering this spell. This is one of the spells that goes very well with, like, the Crusher Feet or a Push Attack from the Battle Master or Thunder Wave, or any of the other things that you can think of, I will link a video to uh, Forced Movement where you can see all the different ways to do Forced Movement. And um, this is one of those bad things for the opponent that can happen. And you can do this over and over and over again because it lasts for an entire minute. And this is actually one of those spells that's worth concentrating on if you have that combo set up already. So just think about that and think of all the different ways that you can push something into a cloud of daggers. All right, that's what I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.